All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. We're no longer in a death spiral. <laughs> so we can actually go do things, which we're going to do today. We're going to explore this area here. Right now, I'm looking for super metal and quartz. Well, not quartz, but zeolite. That's new. Okay. I was wondering if that was aluminum, but no, that is not aluminum. What is this? Iron. Okay. More zeolite. Okay. One aluminum. I need to find one titanium. Ah, super alloy. What we're looking for. I knew there would be some in here. I just don't know if there's that many. Pulsar quartz. One titanium, and I need a silicon. There we go, silicon. How many? That's three super metal. Okay, so we can make one power thing. I guess we should look at what's the minor cost to place down. Do osmium. Okay, so I do need to pick up some osmium. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'm going to have to head back, though. Because I need to get um, inside to get um, oxygen. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Don't worry. I'm going. Right. Okay, so we need two osmium for that. That's cobalt, so that's not it. It's going to be glittering like this pink, pink quartz thing over here. Ooh, lag for some reason. Wow. One super alloy. Okay, that's four super alloy that I have now.
two osmium, we can make a deal. Don't need any of that. Now, um, the low tier extractor, when I last saw it, is a random generation of stuff. But you can, I, I don't know if tier one is like this, but I know one of them is that you can influence what you get out of it by pushing it in an area. So if we put it in this area here, we might get osmium we might get aluminum we might get super metal we might get pink quartz but we can also get the just the lower tier stuff as well Ooh. oh well that's a thing i don't think i'm going to make it yeah i know i know i don't think i'm going to make it yeah i'm not gonna make it I don't have anything on me to make it a compartment, so. My fault for not thinking about that. We just found the super alloy because of that, though. problem is, is I have no idea where my box I dropped was, is. Which means I probably lost one of the osmium, the food, the water. out here. Is this it? No, that's not my box. I have no idea where it is. Sucks. back in and get my oxygen back and I I got to find my box because it has the super metal it has my food it has my water in it we're gonna pass out too much if we don't find it that's not it I don't know where I was at the time when I passed out. There's one there and there's one here. This is not my box. What about this one? This is it. Okay. All right. Um, let's gather things to make a, bo a compartment. Um, so we need two titanium. I'm going to go back over here to near the, to be near this compartment just in case we get to the point where we need to 
get inside. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some iron, which there is none in this. But I need to get three iron so I could put a storage chest in there, so I could drop a lot of things off and just keep my food and things on me and the ability to make another compartment. I should have done that first time I got here and I didn't. One iron. I have the I have the ability to hold the iron. I just need to find two more iron. I already have the two titanium I need. One silicon for future use. Two iron. Silicon. So titanium. Iron. Okay. Let's go over to our compartment, put down the chest, just throw everything in there. So I have two waters. One more and I can get a second power deal. Two titanium, one silicon, then I need three iron. I'm trying to get back over there to that cave to see what's in it. Super alloy. I'm waiting until that steel because we're low on water. And we have no ice around us. Super alloy. Two more super alloy. Two more super alloy, and we can, and we can make three power things. But we have the ability to make a compartment and a door, right? Three iron, two titanium, one silicon. Yes. For life of me, though, I cannot remember where the cave is now. There it is right here. Okay. One aluminum. One titanium. One silicon. I don't know if I want to put a beacon here. But I am going to put the compartment here real quick. And we're going to go down in there and see what's here. Discover the Mushroom River. Interesting. Can we drink the Mushroom River? Would that fill our water? Would that fill our hydration? Would that knock us out if we got into it? Probably so.
I have not seen any higher tier stuff. All I've seen is low tier stuff. I'm not going to pick up any more 300% multipliers. I don't think we can get across there. But I think we can get a. I don't want to chance it. I don't want to take a chance of passing out, dropping my stuff. So I think we'll have to wait until we get the backpack to get in here. The, the jetpack. Is that... That's cobalt. Okay. I was wondering if it was like a mini chest or something. Oh, uh, shit. Damn it. Wasn't paying attention. I got to go back and get it. It's not like I'm going to miss it. It's time. I can definitely get, I can definitely find it really easily. I was not paying attention. I was too interested in things around me. I'm pretty sure if we go into the water, it's going to put us over our head and then it will knock us out. I'm pretty sure. So we can't really explore this until we get a jetpack, but I'm going to leave the compartment there. I just need to get the ability to make another one. Because we're not done running around yet. Okay. I wish I could cross that so I could see what was over there, but it is what it is. Okay. Let's grab titanium. Iron. And silicon. Another titanium. And I need two more iron. Which I should be able to get out here. Just check around to see if there's like iron, like really close. There's one right here and one right here. Okay, let's go, 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 I should be able to put the beacon down. I should have the things. I do. Mushroom compartment. Uh, I could use another aluminum now and a titanium and a silicon. Okay, so now we have the ability to make another beacon. We have the ability to make another compartment. This time, I'll try not to pass out from it. Yeah, I just need two more super alloy. And I would have three. I could make three iridium, three nuclear plants, which would give me power for... I want to say a little while, at least. A 400% multiplier. I will take that one.
Nice. We can make a crafter now, and we can make a uh, water if we need to. Oh, is this? This is my stuff here. Okay. I'm just going to leave the rest. I'll take the fabric, though. I'm pretty sure that was a box of my stuff from one of my deaths. So I want to go find the lava zone again, which is over here. So I can place down a compartment near it. I want to look around to see if there's anything in here that's besides iridium. I know there's a bunch of iridium in here, but is there anything else? And I think I'll place it like right over here. There's a obsidian, but is there like super alloy? Is there like other things? I need one more iron. I can't, I can't stop. I guess I can stop because I think that's <laughs> shit. Oh, here's one more. Give me. Thank you. Other. I got two more spots open on me.
Can't stop, won't stop. Problem is, is uh, I'm pretty full, so I'm not going to be able to take much of uh, uh, uranium back. I need one more titanium, one more silicon, and an aluminum. Oh, hello. It's down here. Iridium. Iridium. Just a bunch of iridium, it looks like, and some lava. Obsidian. Mostly obsidian down here. I saw I saw through the mesh. That's not a good thing. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. An interesting thought just hit me. An interesting thought just hit me. Can I do this? Is it possible to do something like... I need two more iron. And I might be able to do that. Let me inside to get oxygen back and we're going to try this. I think I can make a bridge. I think I can make a bridge. I didn't think about this when I was over here on this side. Don't know why, but now I do. I think the shortcut just just tickled my brain. The shortcut just tickled my brain saying, what can I do to make this shortcut better? Well, how about making your own shortcut? I need another iron and a titanium. Titanium is no problem. It's up here. Iron, I might have to go further for. Not sure. Titanium is gotten. I need one iron. I have two waters on me. So I'm fine on water. 
I just need to find an iron. Really. One more iron, actually. Right? Reach liquid water level. Oh! Okay. That's worrying. That's really, really worrying. Okay, two iron, two... Uh, okay, I needed three iron... One, two, I need one more. The reason why is so I can make the stairs. Hyd water hydration is okay. I am fine on the water hydration, actually. Okay. The problem is, is if the water level in here rises up, this is not going to work anymore. Now, I might be able to get away with just the stairs. I'm going to try that first. I can get away with just a stare. I need to really think in the three dimensions. <laughs> Don't I? I need to I need to get my brain to do Okay, I need one more titanium and one more iron. One more iron and one more titanium. But that was a thing right there. If I can get a titanium, I can uh, make a compartment when I need to. That's the only reason I'm looking for the titanium. Here we go. All right, let's head over to the osmium compartments. Do I have the stuff to make another beacon? I need an aluminum. A titanium and a silicon. Do I have the room to pick that up? No. I need the ability to pick up another silicon. And hydration is fine. I have two. I can pick up a silicon, a uh, silicon, as soon as I drink. No, I, the ability to pick up a titanium is what I need. Okay. I need to place a beacon at the uranium cave. That's my next goal. Uh, we're almost there, so that's fine. I'm going to drop off the seeds and this uh, deal, get the super alloy. Okay. As soon as I, is there anything I need to come back for here? The bean. I need to come back for the bean. Okay. So let's go over this way and try to find the cave for, not that cave, the cave for the uranium. We should be get to it if we follow this direction, I think. I think. I'm not totally 100% sure on that. Oh, we're in the mesh. We're in the mesh. That's not a good thing. Yeah, we're in the mesh. Let's see if we can get out of the mesh area. Go over this direction because I think I'm a little bit too far backwards. I'm... The problem is, is I'm 100% not sure where the uranium cave is anymore. I think it's over here. Can't say for sure. It's down here, please. Woohoo! All right. Uranium cave. Beacon. 
I think that's how you pronounce that. Let's do the run. We're heading back home. I don't think that leads anywhere, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to head to the green compartment. And we're going to go from there. Okay. Well, that's interesting to know that it's there. A satellite. But we're in compartment. I don't think that helps. And south for home. Compartment two is actually where we're aiming for next. There's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. What's up? You want me to play with you, don't you? Yeah. I think he wants me to play with him. I'll go do that in just a little bit. As soon as I finish this episode, we'll go play, okay? Give me, like, 15 more minutes or, well, actually, about 20. 21, 22 minutes. And then we'll play together. Okay, so here's compartments two. I would really love a range, personally. I would like the, uh, maybe a beacon two that gives like a range to it would be nice as well. Let's head home. No death spiral. We, we passed out once, wasn't it? We passed out once, didn't we? I think it was only once. home no problems because i know where the freak home is now <laughs> it, was, it was just a thing it was just a whole thing it was just a whole thing man all right uh put the iridium rod in here okay it was just the whole thing man food 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 and food. All right. Let's eat the lessest one. The mushroom. Okay. And then I'm going to make a water. Drink the one that we have. Okay, okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> Dayo, that was the thing. We got to go back, though. We got to get the other bean. And we got to get the iridium, uh, the uranium, and the 
in the uh, the Osmium. I, I think that's what we need to go get. So, everybody ready to go? We have food that'll last us a while. We have water. Uh, we can act. We can actually grab water out of this thing real quick before we. Let's look and see. Oh. Oh. So there's even more. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting this one. So apparently it's even more before we get water just laying out there. We do have liquid water though. Apparently liquid water. All right. All right, let's grab all that water and go. Heading back out to compartment two, stopping in at ring compartment, going over to the uranium compartment. And then if we have enough room, we'll go over to the osmium compartment to get the osmium and the green beam. I'll prioritize the green bean over the osmium right now. Actually, we should leave the osmium over there now that I think about it. Because I think that's where we have to place, we're wanting to go place our miner. And we might be building out over there for a little while. So, hmm. I'm going to have to look that up, I think. I think that's the one thing I'm going to have to look up, is look up the miner and how it works. Extracts ores from the ground, depending on where it's placed. Okay, so I'll have to place, I'll have to look and see. Because the most valuable thing to us right now is the super alloy, super alloy aluminum is the two most valuable things right now for us to get. Then uranium. Super alloy, aluminum, and uranium. Iridium, not so much. We can just run, if we have to, we can run to the cave and grab iridium over there. And if we have to, we can also run to... Um, the... The, uh, the volcano biome to get even more if we just strip that cave down. Okay, water's coming down. Great. Maybe liquid water means it will stay a little while, or maybe it will, uh, puddles? Would be interesting. Also, we'd be kind of cool if it was at the point that at liquid water that when it rains... It fills your water. You could you could fill your water if you're out in it. Be kind of cool as an extra feature. But as soon as you get to lakes, you no longer have to worry about water at all because you can just drink from the lake when it shows up. And here we are. And here we go. It's so interesting, though. The exploration earlier was hell. I'm not going to lie. The death spiral was the worst part of the game so far. But I know what to do now to do that. We just... I thought we could get away. I thought the map was smaller than it was, was my problem. If the map was smaller than I was, when it, than I thought it was, then we would have been able to find the super alloy faster. I thought the map was a lot smaller than it was. The map is gigantic. The map is just gigantic, especially with how fast you move. With how fast you move, the map is gigantic compared to you until you get a lot more movement speed. And we, we have tier two movement speed right now. We're moving at 30% faster. When we were exploring, we were moving, um, we were moving, um, 
15% faster only. We, we were in our death spiral. Now, while the 30% movement speed is better, it wouldn't still make up for the fact that we could be in a death spiral right now. It, uh, we, we could still have that death spiral. We were just at the point we had no food. We were also at the point we had no water. I know better now of what we need to do. Um, and water is stopping. The rain is stopping, unfortunate. I do like the rain in this game. It's kind of nice. The only thing I see is, um, is the, like I said, the water running down stuff. Like things getting wet and having water run down it. It touches it, but it doesn't, I guess, cling to it, I guess is what I should say. That would have been a nice little extra feature. Okay. Now, this is a nice thing, kind of. But... It's hitting over there, though. If it was hitting over here, it has a... I think it would have a better chance of giving us super metal. I don't know how... what we would be getting out of that. Uh, I guess we could go check as soon as it stops. So, grab the bean... Like I said, I'm going to leave the osmium here, but I'm going to grab the um, the plants so we can make more of the things. It's such a cool thing, this stuff. Like this. Should be just two more. Let's go out here and see kind of if I can find out what it is that fell. Looks like it's just some cobalt, unfortunately. Cobalt, titanium. Doesn't look like there's any uh, like osmium or uh, things. Now, all this stuff from the rockets will just disappear. It's a bunch of iron. That's a silicon, I think. Yeah. Wasn't a, it wasn't a super alloy meteor shower. There is such a thing. The color, if I remember correctly, the color of the meteor shower kind of indicates what's in it. And that one was just generic, unfortunately, it seems like. Ah. Ah. Water. Interesting. All right. Well, we grabbed what we wanted to grab. Let's go ahead and head on back. When we get back, we're, we're going to try and place down some of the uh, power deals. It's going, I know it's going to use up all of my um, super alloy, but what it is what it is i think i am going to research where to place the miner to get super metal uh, as a as a as at least a chance to get super metal it's not going to be a great chance there is a weight of things but there is, i do need to place it in a spot that has a chance to get super metal and I think if we put it over there where the osmium compartment is, is where we can have a chance of getting super metal. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. So don't quote me on that. But I think that's what's going to be the best. Okay. So we have two beans. Don't worry about that. We have two beans now, so that's going to give us that's going to give us even more food. Having like four, if we could get to the point where we could have four beans going at a time, I don't think we would ever have to worry about food again. 
unless we get lost in our like we did with the death spiral uh lost if we don't get to that point i think we shouldn't have to worry about um it at all i'm going to go and look it down here see what if anything we find my thing is there's like there's nothing here maybe we need to do something with this later with the storyline or something but for right now there's nothing we can do it's also because it doesn't, doesn't want to let me um move over the middle of it there's like something hidden up here nope okay so there's really nothing we can do with this right now okay Maybe we can do something with it later. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> uh, we do have plenty of water. So we're not worried about that. But I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can reach that compartment too. Before we run out of oxygen we're going to try yeah i would really like a like a range finder thing like this is the distance to the beacon be a nice feature. Craft your own, craft your own nuclear reactor. We crafted two of them, actually. So actually we can go out here and replace these with the 400 percent except for the 600s then just with those and then this with that Uh, I think I'll let it grow and we'll replace the lowest one, which is going to be the mushroom. All right. We'll put these squashes up because we're not, I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere else right now. So how are we doing on power anyway? 
Herm 77 available. We should be able to make another one if we wanted to. We just have to go and make the rod to make it. Which I can do up here and here. I think I will go ahead and go and make that one more like I wanted to. And I think this will I think this will last our power a little bit. I hope. I need to get back over here so I can have my, um, oh, we don't have the water. Uh, I can get the water out of this thing. This thing should be full again. Yeah. We just have to get in range of it to be able to put it down. So how much super metal does that leave us with? Actually a pretty good bit. Okay. Actually a pretty good bit. I didn't think I had that much, but I guess I did. I was looking for it a lot and I did find the um, thing over there. So. Okay. What should we do with all this super metal? Um, we can make these. I I think I have the ability to, I need two of them to make the jet pack. So I need two iridium rods, four uranium and two super alloys. I can make one more um, of those. How's my uranium? Okay. Yeah, okay. So, we make one of those. Um, and we should be able to make this, and this, and that. Boom. Let's go try it out. Is it infinite? It's infinite? Wow, it's infinite. I didn't think it would be infinite. I thought it would have like a cooldown or something. I thought it would like have a fuel deal, but it's infinite. Cool. Okay. Well, this adds a new dimension to our deal. It's slow. It's slower than us running around. But. It does, it does allow us to fly up. Oh, we can't go up above a certain limit. Okay. Okay. So it's not really flying. Uh, we can go up more. How high can we go? Not that high at all. So the reason why we were so high earlier is because we jumped off the top of the building. Okay. Interesting. That's an interesting thing. So it's a mushroom. Mushroom's done. Place the mushroom with the green bean and I'll go ahead and eat that. Okay. So we're full up. Great. Uh, the bean is ready. The squash is ready. And the squash is ready. Cool. So we got food going now. All right. I think the last thing I guess, I guess the next thing to do is just to decide what we want next and start building. <laughs> That that's going to be a while. We're in still in this era. This is going to take a while to get to that. We got to go all the way up through 900 to get to this thing. There's a flower spreader, gas extractor, the tier two ore extractor, the tier three ore extractor. Okay, so pressure is what gives us our ore extractors. Okay. Signs, algae generator. Okay. 
So we need to get heat up. Because we're going to need this once we have lakes. We can get a nuclear fusion. Okay. Tier 2 machine optimizer to boost the performance of nearby machines. Ah! The Factorio booster thing. The beacon. The Factorio beacon is what that is. Interesting. Tier 4 heater at 63. Tree spatter. Water life collector. Okay, lake water collector. Oh, okay. So we can't just drink out of the lake. I thought we could. We need to collect and filter the water from water services. Okay. Oh, here's the regular machine optimizer, the first one. This is the tier two. Okay, so I think the next thing we need to do, well, first we need to make some more things. We need to make more of those too. So we need um, two more iridium rods. Okay, we can make one more of these things then. Okay. We can make a lots platform. But I think I want to do this first, just to make sure. We don't really need this right now. We could do this, but we don't really have water yet. I think I want to hold off for lakes on this, don't I? I mean, I could try and get that going now. We would need to go make some water bottles, though. Or we could grab some out of this thing. Is this back full? Yeah. I mean, we could set it right here so we could have some grass out front. Uh, I need to go back over here to grab the stuff, though. Uh, let me just go inside and grab the stuff so I can place it where I want. I kind of want to place it where I want. So I need um, an aluminum and a magnesium, I think it was. And then I can place it down. Two waters, two aluminum, two magnesium, uh, uh, aluminum and magnesium, and the, and the lerma seed. Forgot about that. So let's set this out like right here. Like, I don't think it's going to, it's at two, it's growing, but I don't know how good that's going to grow, though, without lakes here. Does it get to just a point and not work anymore? I'm not sure. Well, one thing we can do is we can go back in here and try and get, um, I mean, I guess we could, I guess we should go outside and put down some more pressures. Yeah, let's go. Let's go put down some more uh, pressure machines while that's running. Oh, hey, we got grass. I see it. It's not. Do it's not staying, but I see some green. That's <laughs> nice. All right, let's uh, go out here and see about making um, more pressure machines here.
But we just unlocked something. I don't know what it was, though. Is it something in the biodome? No. It would be plants that we would be unlocking. So that's the beehive at... Oh, we're also getting biomass, too. Ah! Okay, yeah, that's good to get. But I don't think... Yeah, it wasn't lakes. Not that, not that. Ah, oh, signs, that's what we got. We got signs, okay. Okay, I think I need to get more of the things down. Uh, let's see. Um... So these are 150, those are 200s, it's 300s, okay. Six of them. What do I need to get six tier three veggie tubes down? Water bottles, one water bottle each. Okay, so I need six water bottles. How much water do I have out in this thing? three. Okay, so I can just make three of them inside. What's my aluminum look like right now? Not that much. How many per one? I need, yeah, one per. Uh, three, four, five, six. So, and then I need, um... Uh, magnesium per, so I'm going to need six magnesium. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two silicon per. I think I'm going to have to have the silicon come in uh, with the quest crafting thing. I, you know, we could do it over here in this corner. Um... We have grass. I saw that. Mm. Okay, we're gonna have to go get some aluminum next episode. Also, I think this, yeah, that was where I had other aluminum, so we can take that apart and do that. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I need to move this stuff, so let me grab all of that that I can and dump it. And, yep, that took everything, so that can go now as well. We're running really low on resources. I think I'm going to do a resource run here. Just aluminum and things. Yeah, ice is also low. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do after here. Uh, it's been about an hour, so I'm going to stop here. Take me a break for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to start farming out resources. Uh, just aluminum and stuff. If we're going to get super alloy, we'll go together. Super alloy, uranium, and uh, stuff like that. But aluminum and stuff, I think we can. I can go and get myself now. So we'll go up to that point and go there. Um, I don't think we're going to. Yeah, 865, 80 T. I don't know, this is G, so this might not even count once we get to 80 on it. But if I do unlock it, we I'll go, I'll show you what I unlocked while we're gone. Uh, we're definitely not going to be unlocking lakes for a while. Our, um, we gotta get our, I think our heat and pressure has got to go up before we get lakes uh, good enough. So, yeah, we gotta, I think we gotta get our heat and uh, pressure up to the oxygen level 
for that. I think we're fine on oxygen for a while. Because we're almost at the end of the oxygen tree. There's only three things left to get. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a nice time, whatever time it is. And y'all are part of it. Bye.